What's up guys, More Medic One here. And today at the shop, we've got us a little John Deere Easy Track. As you can tell, we've got this thing torn down pretty far. I had to take the seat off and then this tray is just made of plastic and it's just held down with these little push pins. And yeah, every one of them broke. So I had to go get me a, an assortment of those but let's see what the issue is. If you remember in my previous video, I was talking about this little double barrel carburetor and how when the customer replaced the carburetor, they didn't get the carburetor put on right. They got some, uh, some baffles and they actually got the swirl plate installed backwards and it wasn't throttling up. If you remember, it would not I mean, not throttle up, but it wouldn't go to idle. So the engine was running wide open all the time. Half throttle, shoot, it was just screaming. But as you can tell, I'm doing fuel lines on this machine as along with revamping his carburetor. The symptoms that the customer was having is that it would run for a few minutes and die. It would just peter out and snuff out and the engine would die. So I said, just bring it to me and I'll look at it real quick and shoot. First thing I did was pull the fuel filter and I uh, checked the fuel pump and it, it wasn't pumping hardly anything, just barely. What it was doing was the fuel pump was sucking fuel through a restricted fuel hose and let me show you. I'm gonna lay this old fuel hose up here next to the old one. The old one is routed just like the old new one here, but I want to show you this. You see this little crook in the fuel line right there where it makes its transition where this new fuel line is right in behind here where you can't see it. And when this fuel line gets a little bit of age on it, and that crook right there was enough to pinch off the gas flow to this carburetor and I can understand being a novice uh, homeowner the first thing that I would have done too would be you know uh, it, it it made it sound like and it and it was running like a stopped up carburetor so they replaced the fuel pump they put a new fuel filter I'm putting a new fuel filter on it because I didn't like the one that they had and I'm going to retest everything after I replace the fuel line. So let's go ahead and get this thing put back together. So a pinched fuel line, or a actually probably a deteriorated fuel line that has collapsed on the inside is the cause of this whole debacle. That little Chinese carburetor runs pretty good. They got it off of Amazon, my customer did. I'll have to ask them what brand that is. I may get them to send me the link where they got that because that carburetor runs good. They got a little bit of issue going on here with the hose. I'm gonna leave it because they've already, they fixed it. I mean, I didn't have one of those little impulse hoses and uh, obviously it's working. Guys, I just fixed an oil leak too. That oil filter was just loose as heck. I tightened it up. You can see where it's been seeping. It's a hot one today. It's a hot mother booger today. But anyway, guys, hey, I know that in the comment section of my videos and y'all asking questions all the time about uh, why it won't run, check the obvious make sure that you're getting adequate fuel flow to your carburetor this tractor probably didn't even need a carburetor it just needed a simple fuel
you a light. But anyway, guys, hey, if this content helped you out, please give me a subscribe and hit that like button. And guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, by the way, click that bell to get all my new uploads. Y'all have a good day. More Medic One. Oh, guys, I totally forgot these little clips that hold this uh, tray down, the battery tray, and the, it's just a cover for the gas tank, and it's held on with these little old clips. Well, I broke about half of them, but I just want to share with you guys the, uh, the kit that I bought on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description for this. And the bulk fuel line that I bought, super good price by AC Delco. It's made by Gates. I got 25 feet for 18 bucks. You cannot beat that. That's cheaper than Rock Auto. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. More Medic One.